Welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. I wanted to go over couplings and thread types. So uh, <laughs> if I've already put you to sleep, try to stick with me. I'll try to make this as quick and easy as I can, but really what's gonna make this uh, make sense to you is to get out to the truck, get these couplings in hand, look at the thread types, look at the writing at the side of the coupling so that you can better understand what you're looking at and uh, better identify them out in the field. Um, just know that really my goal with, at the end of this is to try to convince you that the best thing you could do is to separate these out in your coupling cabinet or compartment so that your adapters are really separated from everything else. Right? Because when you're going to go hike out on the fire line, someone needs a specific uh, coupling, you might pick one of these up and head out on the fire line. And even though they look the same, they're different. Right? And if you show up with the wrong kind, there's just no making it work. And someone's going to be upset, probably you, that you hiked all the way out there. And then have to go back to the truck and get the right one. And if you don't understand what you're looking for, you might go back to the truck and still not understand what you need to get or why the, the, uh, the coupling you grabbed was wrong. So let's get into that. So first of all, 99.9% of .9 what you're going to do, these two are going to do it for you. Um, this is a reducer, and we always kind of about talk about a reducer from the female to the male side, you know, right truck to the working end of the hose line. So we're reducing it down. And in this case, we're reducing it down from inch and a half to an inch. You'll see these in the hose packs on the end of a gated Y. This reduces down our trunk line down to a one inch lateral where we'll have the nozzle and actually do the work. And this you'll commonly find in a mop up kit because we're going from a one inch, so a one inch lateral, to a three quarter inch garden hose. And in that case, you know, you'd probably put um, a gated Y on this, um, you know, a tiny gated Y, <laughs> uh, and then two of our three quarter inch laterals uh, to mop up with a nozzle on the end of those. Nice thing about this particular three quarter inch thread that we use um, in Wildland is that it matches up with what you'll find at Home Depot and Lowe's. So if you buy a nozzle at Home Depot and Lowe's, it'll work on this. If you buy a Y, it'll work on this coupling. Um, so they're cheap, they're easy to find, um, there is, NFPA actually has a standard for a different three quarter inch connection, but it doesn't work with um, the typical garden hose connections that you'd find in those stores. So Wildland hasn't adopted it and continues to use the standard, which makes sense to me. So those are your reducers. Again, that'll get you through most everything. The other type that you'll see is an increaser. So again, we're going female to male and we're just increasing the diameter, right? So in this case, we're going inch to one and a half. Don't use increasers very much at all. Um, in fact, I can only think of a, just a handful of times I've ever used them. I mean, very, very infrequently. And then we have adapters. And adapters are taking one thread type and adapting it to another. And um, typically it means that the thread type that's being adapted is uncommon for that particular diameter. So in this case, there's two different thread types, even though these are both one inch connections. So if this were standard or normal, Right, they would have the same thread type. And so what are the common thread types that we use in wildland and structure for that matter? Uh, we have two. And so uh, the first one is national hose, and let me zoom in so that's a little bit clearer for you. And national hose threading is coarse. So the gaps between the threads are pretty wide. It means you can get dirt gunk in there and it'll still thread up pretty easily. And the other is National Pipe Straight Hose, or NPSH, and that's a finer thread. So because this is an adapter, that's a bad example, so let me grab this guy. Where you'll normally find the uh, NH, or National Hose threads, are on inch and a half and two and a half. And you'll normally find the National Pipe threading on one inch, which is the finer thread. Garden hose thread is technically its own um, thread type, but it matches up with national hose, and that's how you'll see it reported on the couplings is three quarter NH. Again, a coarser thread. NFPA has a different standard. Don't worry about that. This is what we use. Connects up to everything you'll find in the normal home improvement store. So in this case, it's going from the, the finer thread of the national pipe straight hose to the coarser thread of the garden hose. All right, so let's go over what you'll see at the side. So we already talked about the NH, which is national hose. It's that coarser uh, thread. You'll find that at three quarter, inch and a half, two and a half. And then uh, the national pipe straight hose, you'll find typically just on the one inch hose. And it's just like it sounds, straight hose. So this is straight, there is no taper to it. 
which you'll find at home um, on your water heater connections, PVC, uh, black pipe for gas, any of those common types of connections. If you've ever worked on a ranch coming out from um, you know, all of their tanks, their irrigation setups, those are also typically iron pipe. Those have tapered connections for both the male, so this comes down to a taper, and then the female end would also taper inwards. The way those connections work is that taper on the male end tapers into the female side, and it's the connections between the threads along with some kind of sealant, like a dope or a tape, that make the connection uh, watertight. Our fire hose connections get their water tightness, is that a word? By the use of this gasket. So those straight, um, straight hose threads thread in, connect this, uh, contact this gasket, and that's what makes the connection water tight. So if you see a gasket, you know you have a straight hose and probably a fire hose connection. What that means is that you can take a female national pipe straight hose, so what we use with the finer threads, and you can connect it up to a male iron pipe connection that tapered male will thread into the female end and make a connection with the gasket. It's not great, but it'll work. So you might get some leaking, um, but you can make it work as a temporary connection. What you can't do is take a male straight hose and go into a female tapered connection. If you were to try to do that, let's, let's say let's play like this was tapered, as that female end tapers, you won't capture many threads. Okay, so that's one. So one, it's just not safe because you're not capturing many threads. And two, there is no gasket on the female side of an iron pipe connection. It requires the use of a taper, a dope. So because there is no gasket, there's really no way to get this to connect up to where it's not leaking because the threads aren't going to do it. You have no tape, you have no dope. So you can't go that direction. You can really only take a female and connect up to a male iron pipe. And how will those iron pipes be listed? Um, usually it's um, FIP or MIP, and the F and the M just stand for female or male, and that's iron pipe. Um, sometimes there'll be a T on the end of that, so FIPT, so that's female iron pipe thread, and a lot of people add the, the taper onto the end of that. I think that's actually the correct way to represent it, would be female iron pipe threaded tapered. Whew, that's a mouthful. So you can see how um, confusing this could get if you're trying to look through your compartment and you have all these jumbled together and you're trying to find the one you need and you, you grab this thinking it's an inch to three quarter or you grab this thinking it's a normal inch and a half to inch, but it's not, you know, it's an odd, it's an odd adapted side because that's what you're adapting as thread types. So try to keep these separated out, get into your compartment, look through, make the connections, start to learn to identify just by visually looking at it and going, oh yeah, that's a coarse thread, I know that's hose. But it's also on the end of an inch. So I know this must be some kind of adapter, right? And you can look and see this is uh, a fine thread, national pipe straight hose. So we're just adapting one inch thread types. And this particular adapter, um, a lot of times in district you'll see, and elsewhere, you'll see this on the end of booster lines. Booster lines, for whatever reason, come in both national pipe straight hose and national hose. Oftentimes, I've seen them as national hose. So they're one inch national hose at the end of a booster line, which is not typical for us in Wildland, right? That should be a national pipe connection. And so you might use this adapter if you had the nozzle off that booster line. You could connect this up to the end of our one inch lateral and then the nozzle to this national hose. Um, and then vice versa. You know, there are adapters that we have that go from a one inch national hose, which will connect up to the end of the booster line to a one inch national pipe straight hose. And in that case, we could uh, thread this up to the end of the booster line, put a one inch lateral, which we, you know, is our normal lateral to the end of the booster line and just extend it out. So, you know, that might work um, really well for mop up. We just want to use the bo booster line, make it really quick. We can reel it up, move on to the next place that we're going to mop up, but still be able to use our normal one inch line with our mop up kit and everything like that. So, um, you know, that would be a use case for that, that type of adapter. So again, this will get you through 99%. Your inch and a half to inch, inch to three quarter, that's mainly what you're going to see, what you're going to use. And then you can quickly identify if there is writing on the side, 
that, yep, this is totally normal. One and a half inch national hose to one inch national pipe straight hose. Yep, that's the normal adapter. And then if you came across this guy and you saw that they were both national pipe straight hose, you'd automatically know this must be some kind of adapter because that should be a hose, that should be pipe. So this is trying to go from some kind of iron pipe connection to our normal one inch hose or connection. Okay, get out there, get hands on. I hope that helped. I hope it didn't make it more confusing. <laughs> Good luck. Let me know if you have any questions.